So today marks the day of a well-earned retirement. And that would be my old cutoff, three inch cutoff tool. Um, I bought her at a flea market for like 10 bucks in the early aughts. I think I paid about 10 bucks for her. Um, back in uh, the Bush administration, we, we lost the guard that goes over the top. And uh, during the Obama administration, we lost the trigger lock. Uh, this girl's like, like, like one of those chicks you see on Tinder who's ready to settle down. She's been well used, well worked, and will probably put you in the hospital. All that aside, um, yeah, it's just time for an upgrade. The, these guys were, were pretty popular in the early aughts and late 90s. Uh, they were rebranded by just about anybody wanting to sell one of these things. Uh, this one wasn't rebranded. This is just a generic one right here where you see the circle. A company like Campbell Hossfield would have uh, slapped their label on it. I think their particular version of this was just bare metal. And uh, yeah, it served me well. I mean, aside from that, when I dropped it, uh, it's, it's served me well over the years, and um, it's time to upgrade. I'm getting away from pneumatic tools just because they're inconvenient. And that brings me to the old DeWalt. I got the number right here, I swear. Uh, DCS 438. And, uh, yeah, this thing, uh, according to... Uh, my favorite place to find out how much uh, power tools have is uh, Torque Test Channel. Uh, this thing dominates all on their little dyno there, and um, yeah, I think uh, I think I made a good purchase regardless. But we're gonna play with it either way. So uh, yeah, let's uh, flip some cameras around and uh, we'll take a close look at this. All right, out of the box, what you get in the package there would be a manual, of course, for people who don't know how buttons work. Uh, you get uh, a selection of cutting discs and apparently a arbor adapter. I'm not sure what that is for. Uh, the selection you get is a diamond uh, wheel for, I'm um, guessing, cutting uh, tile, concrete, things, things of that nature. Things of that nature that I will probably never use. Uh, you get your traditional... Uh, bonded or fiber cutoff wheel which wears down as you go and they actually just looked at this guy they actually give you this little wheel which is kind of a multi-purpose um cutoff wheel that uh does metal plastic and uh things of that nature so i'm kind of curious as to how this works multi-directional too according to the hours our arrows <laughs> arrows and um yeah kind of curious as to how this would work um as far as maybe we'll test that out today too but that aside and then you get the uh the old dewalt um three inch cutoff uh, tool here um according to the label back here it's made in mexico so another thing that's spicy coming out of mexico i mean technically you could claim that it's made in america because uh, mexico is technically america so um yeah now, side by side to your traditional, we used to call these woo-woos because that's the sound you make, they make when you when you hit the, the, the deal there. But, I mean, side by side, you can kind of, I mean, technically, I guess that would probably be a more accurate look at how it would be. As far as working it from this angle as opposed to this angle, I don't know if I will dislike that or like it. Time will tell. And, uh... Yeah, it also comes with this here, which I wish every tool would do this, a captured uh, Allen key, or hex drive, or hex key, uh, to remove the, uh, the uh, tools on the thing. So, I kind of like that. Now, as far as batteries go, um, this is just a 2 amp hour. I gotta get me some of those um, power stack batteries that they... Uh, they sell nowadays. I just think the compact nature of them will probably be better, but that's what I got right now. Uh, two amp hour. Kind of looks nice on it, as far as that goes. Um, let's pull the trigger, see what happens. Uh, headphone warnings. I'll pipe it down, but you know that you know the drill. It is either on or off, so there's no uh, feathering going on as far as the speed goes. I don't know if that would be important to me or not. I do like the little LED light, which kind of illuminates your cutting area there. 
Um, as far as, which I think would probably be a more appropriate battery as far as amp hours go. I got a four amp hour battery right here. Um, kind of looks a little chunky with it on the end. Um, it balances as nice with a with a four amp hour on. It's kind of right in the middle of the grip there, and it uh, yeah, feels it feels nice in the old uh, hand there. Now, as far as the guard goes, uh, this guard right here is uh, intended for tile cutting and things like that, which we discussed earlier. I probably will never use it. Uh, we got a shop vac hose attachment there, and that would fit. Uh, looks like about an inch and a half size hose um, for if you're cutting and you want to suck the dust out of it. It has this here depth gauge with measurements on it. Little indicator arrow over here, which I kind of I kind of like it when they give you that. It takes a little guesswork out of it. Got the shield here for removing the blades. Kind of janky. Again, I'll never use that aspect of it, so I really don't care. And it has, well, I think it detaches it. Different angles you can go by. One here, one there, one there. So it's kind of like the uh, tilt back seats in economy class. And the old locking mechanism here. Do that, and that should get rid of this guard. Yes, it does. And that'll probably be the last time that that guard's ever on that tool. And uh, yeah. got a little arbor lock here. Pop that guy out. It also has flats for a hex. And it is lefty tighty righty loosey. Which, all right. Uh, the thing with that, let me take this off, make it a little easier to handle. Um, with it going, Bi-directional. I don't know why that would need to be reverse threads or left-hand threads because it's usually when you have reverse threads, it's because it's going in one direction. You don't want to back it off, but yeah, I don't know why they did that. But all right, good enough. Let's uh, let me put a glove on and see how this thing will actually work with a gloved hand, which is kind of important because that's how I'm going to work it. So with my well <laughs> used work glove. Um, you can kind of get to all the all the buttons and everything with a gloved hand on. And uh, yeah, oh, I don't mind that at all. Get to the arbor lock, no problem. Yeah, okay, that's uh, that's pretty good. Well, all right, that's the uh, that's the guts of her. So uh, let's take her out to the old truck there, put some stuff in the vise, and uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll cut some crap. I think we'll do the, um, try that, that, that multi-purpose diamond blade, uh, just to see how it is. And um, yeah, let's go do that. All right, let's start off with um, what I would say I most commonly use a three inch cutoff wheel for, and that's for cutting hydraulic hose. This is three eighths double braided hose and um, yeah we'll see how it does like I said we're gonna try this multi-purpose diamond wheel on it just to test that out as well all right I can say from years of using that other one to cut off hydraulic hoses this thing just smoked that that's that's really nice let's try that again just for fun that burnt rubber smell all right next up on the chopping block a little bit of a little bit of all thread not bad at all I'm liking it all right, we got some quarter inch piece of plate used for a shim. Uh, let's see if we get, I don't know, I don't know if I want to cut it all the way in half, but let's see if we can make a good slot in it.
All right, I'm going to switch out the diamond blade with just a traditional bonded fiber blade, I guess we'll call it, and uh, see if there's any real difference here. It just smokes through that. So there we go. That's the thing. Um, funny, funny story. I'm cleaning up my truck, putting everything away. And I get a YouTube notification that AVE just posted a video on this exact tool. But uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, my, mine's coming out the Wednesday after he posted his. I'm sure he's going to take his apart. So we kind of come at things from different angles. And uh, yeah, you probably probably check out his as well if you're thinking about buying this. But uh, all that being said, this thing's a monster. I was going to AB compare this old thing. But I mean, what's the point? You know, a 20-year-old clapped out. Uh, little wizard wheel here compared to this. I mean, I could feel the difference as long as I've been using this. Uh, through the hydraulic hose, this here diamond blade just sailed through it. With this guy, I used to have to kind of work my way around it or it would stall because it's rubber. The, the, those, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but that those hydraulic hoses, they got, uh, they're double braided, so there's steel braiding in between the rubber. And uh, yeah, this had absolutely no problem with it. The um, uh, all thread, jeez, my brain's broken. Uh, the all thread, this thing again sailed right through it. That quarter inch uh, plate steel, again, this had no problem with it. The uh, cutoff wheel, the, the standard fiber bonded cutoff wheel, did did about the same through the. Uh, plate steel as far as I could feel. Um, this blade right here, I will, I'm will. i going to actually put this on here and see how this holds up over time. These are about, I don't know, 15, 20 times more than, than these guys. So if it lasts 15, 20 times more than these guys, it, it might be worth it. I will say it will be nice because usually these things from bouncing around the toolbox um, and being on here, they, they usually break off or they crack kind of kind of like like this one has right here but um yeah so i'm gonna run this one until it's dull and think if it's and see if i could uh, determine whether or not it's it's uh, worth it but yeah uh one critique um i will say i kind of wish it had a little bit of ver uh, speed variability in the trigger for when you're kind of starting to cut and you want to you know have that little bit of a finer finer touch going into it but um aside from that there's really no other complaints with it this seems like a pretty pretty uh pretty tough tool with a with a lot of a lot of horsepower in the thing or maybe a third of a horsepower i don't know but <laughs> it uh yeah it does its thing it's got a lot of power and uh i kind of like it uh this particular tool i will put an affiliate link in the uh comment section down there i got this one off of amazon um you can get it uh, Home Depot, I'm sure Lowe's and all the other box stores uh, will sell this thing as well. And uh, yeah, as always, I'm going to use this for as long as it takes me to get a good sense for it. And uh, some point in time in the probably not too distant future, six months at least, I would think, um, we'll take another look at it, or not another look at it, but we'll uh, sit back down and I'll give you my thoughts on it after using it in the real world for a while and uh yeah we'll see i actually got one of those videos coming up not too uh not too long from now where i'm going to go back over the stuff i've looked over the past year and uh give you my final thoughts on on, on uh, what they are or, or how they perform in the field but uh yeah so that's it as far as this guy i like it um questions comments concerns as always you can leave them in the thing in the in the bottom there and i'll do my best to answer them and uh yeah there you go oh man i blocked my thumb there you go <laughs>